Coverage you can count on continues with Glenn Marini's Sports Report. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Of course, some, some screams are louder than others. In the case of Anthony Contreras, he's got a pretty loud yell when it comes to some blue bell. For our final carpool conversation, we turn the tables and talk with the Tin Caps manager, who at 33 years old isn't all that far removed from his playing days, and that includes the Fort Wayne Wizards. In this week's carpool conversation, hey, it's fueled by Phil's One Stop and Marathon. AC, up, how are you doing, man? Good, good to see you. Good. Ready to roll to the ballpark? Let's do it. This is a treat to have the manager in the car. Uh, I guess. <laughs> so you have kind of a unique perspective here in Fort Wayne because you played for the Fort Wayne Wizards in what, 2008? 2008, yeah. And now you're the manager of the Tin Caps. Yeah. So what's it like to kind of see it come full circle in a very short amount of time? Um, you know, it was, I, I drive by it now and it's just a parking lot, so <laughs> a little different. Um, I think I went downtown one time when I was a player and like it's grown unbelievably huge now like to see the the stadium and um, just the fan base obviously uh, the castle never got 5,000 on a Monday or even close to 10,000 like they do on 4th of July and big dates like that but it's cool to see uh, Fort Wayne kind of grow and it's July and a little warm and guys are getting a little tired and you try to manage your energy and, and just make sure that they're uh, finishing the season strong. You know how to manage your energy? I heard it's Jamba Juice. Ooh. I heard that you, your first job was Jamba Juice, right? <laughs> you were like a manager at Jamba Juice? I was, yeah. Uh, I was more of a banana berry guy, blueberry, banana. I can actually remember the ingredients exactly to oh, a really? too, yeah. Um, one scoop of vanilla, sh uh, vanilla frozen yogurt, raspberry sherbet, uh, some raspberry juice, one scoop of bananas, and two scoops of blueberries. Man, your mind is like a steel trap. Yeah, I, I kind of pride myself on that. You know, I can remember some weird things, and sometimes it works for me, sometimes it doesn't. So. I heard that you don't drink alcohol during the season. But yeah, this year since uh, about mid February, uh, I haven't had a drop and. Um, you know, it takes all, every ounce of energy I have to make sure they're in the right position and make sure that I'm pushing all the right buttons and I want to kind of keep my head clear. And Do you substitute anything else? Uh, yeah, my, my weak spot's probably ice cream. You ice know? cream? Yeah. Um, I'll enjoy a nice little pint, sometimes every night, really. Really? Yeah. So you are an ice cream fiend. Uh, I would consider myself an ice cream fiend, yeah. Bluebell ice cream is probably my favorite. Bluebell tastes just like the good old days. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah. In spring training, actually, um, my wife would go and buy me three pints, and I would finish those three pints in three days. Oh, my God. Yeah. Actually, no, I take that back. Not a pint, the half gallon, the big one. Three half gallons in three days yeah. in spring training? Uh, would you want to grab the cooler? Right back there. All right. All right. I figure I couldn't store an ice cream cone, but a good drumstick. I can do this. Peanuts on the top are protein, sure. man. You want one? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. I'll even open it for you. So you have, you're married, mm -hmm. and you have two kids. Mm -hmm. And they're back home in Arizona, right? Five-year-old boy, three-year-old girl. Cole and Addison, or I call them Bubs and Dee Dee's. Bubs and Dee Dee's? Bubs and Dee Dee's. Mm -hmm. She's taken on both of them by herself, working full time. And, um, you know, she's a trooper. She's been with me since I started baseball. And, um, you know, I like thank God and thank her every day. Um, I might not tell her that, but, you know, in my mind, I like, am very fortunate and um, to have her in my life. We came in as freshmen together in 2002, San Jose State in the fall. And I. Uh, you worked at AC Charm? Yeah, it took me it took me a while to kind of get the nerve just to talk to her, but um, yeah, you know, I did a I followed her around for about a year, and we had biology biology together our sophomore fall, and we used to hang out after uh, after biology, and we'd go to the student union and uh, eat Burger King together, uh, and I would uh, kind of try to woo her over a nice sausage croissant sandwich, you know, and it all started from there. Now. When you were playing through the Padres system, you were teammates with Anthony Rizzo? I was, yeah. Were you guys roommates? We were. We, uh, 2011 in AAA in Tucson, we lived, uh, we rented a house 
uh, down the street from the University of Arizona, and it was me, him, and a couple other guys that lived together and enjoyed ourselves and had a good time and played good baseball. He was a great guy, you know, he, one of the best teammates I've been around, funny. Um, when we played, they call him the babe. That was kind of when he started his hot streak and oh, yeah. kind of put his name on the map. And I was hoping to get up to Wrigley sometime this year and kind of connect with him and, and just say hi. But, um, you know, obviously my job here in Fort Wayne kind of takes busy it. right now? Yeah, just a little bit, you know. My time's kind of consumed. So, but yeah, like baseball is such a small world. I'm, su I'm sure we'll cross paths at one point. I took it. This is probably the slowest I've ever eaten ice cream right here. Well, I, I keep asking you all these questions. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right? Getting in the way. Of, it makes me enjoy it. I'm getting in the way of the ice cream consumption. Yeah. All right, AC. It's been a pleasure. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate and, it, man. Uh, say hi to Bubs and Dee Dee. I will. Me. I will for sure. Appreciate all right. it. All right, man. Thank you. Thank you. Now, obviously, outside of ice cream, AC is an extremely disciplined guy. He says part of that came from watching his dad get up at 3 and 4 o'clock in the morning to go to work in construction. And uh, if you wanted to know, his favorite ice cream, coffee. A big oh. fan of coffee ice cream. But uh, we've enjoyed doing the series. It's been interesting yeah. to, to just get to learn all the personalities behind yeah. the names you see on the roster. Uh -huh. and, uh, special thanks to uh, Phil's One Stop and Marathon for sponsoring yep. it and for the Tin Caps for allowing us to do it. Right. When we pitched the idea, I thought they'd be like, no way you can drive guys to the ballpark. But they've been all on board, so it's been a lot of fun so far this summer. We love watching it. Yeah, tough for the guys to be away from home, but think about how difficult it is for him to be away from his yeah, kids. Yeah, with wife and kids, right. it's a different scenario for him. And, you know, he is a young guy, 33 years yeah. old, so really not that far removed from his playing days. He has an interesting perspective on, on what the guys are going through and how he manages uh, to work with them and, and help them out. Yeah.